Hello and welcome back to a much changed West Texas. Right, so in the last episode I asked everyone to put in the comment section if you should have a bit of money and uh, yeah, just go all out. So as you can tell, with the quad already, I've kind of bought, a f well, I've bought a lot of things and put, also put a lot of placeables down. So the loan's completely gone, which is such a help, it really is, because it was crippling. And that with the... Um, uh, maintenance costs, let's say, or the um, actual property costs. Uh, I think that was like 12,000 a day. It was crazy. So yeah, I'm at 2.8 million and I've put a few things in, bought a few things, but first thing, let's just go and have a look at some of the equipment I've got. So I brought in the bales from the last episode as well. So just stuck them there. Grass has obviously grown around them, but they are definitely there. You can see them just sprouting up. Uh, I've got this trailer. This is an auto load trailer for bales or probably pallets or anything you want really but yeah what low trailer um, and then I also got a few tractors now we've added to the collection so we originally had this bad boy here the beast as I've been calling it but it's the 9630 I'll be honest I'm not I'm not too uh, knowledgeable when it comes to John Deere's but I have gone for I've tried to get the American style so definitely got this one as we had before I've got this 8R410 and I have to say I really do like the look of this it's got the um, US um, warning I think the like, warning signs on the, on the side pop out of the back. I have to say, I do like the style, the bodywork on this. It looks really, well, quite modern. Definitely looks the part, so I'm looking forward to that. Got some beefy tyres on it. Uh, I've gone for the 8530. This is technically what I was leasing out in the last episode, but I now own it. So I've got one of them. Uh, jewels on the back, but kind of narrow jewels. Sticking with this little 6220. This is going to be a front loader hauling bales small work really but then I've also gone with this which I have to say is right up my street this this kind of tractor this mod it reminds me of something out of the John Deere pack but it isn't actually in the John Deere pack it's just highly detailed it really is inside uh, I'll, I'll, give, I'll show you in a second but yeah this really does tick all the boxes for a well-made mod uh, well-made tractor mod and it's also got the 100 year anniversary kind of sticker on um, which is an add-on as well that you can well it's an option that you can choose while you're purchasing it the customizable option so I've gone with this 6215R don't think it's a US style I'll be honest because I couldn't have the options for the warning signs at the back that were the US but without them without the uh, European ones on I still think it kind of looks the part so we've got a good range now um, high end 500 horsepower mixing around 400 I think I've got a 300 low end one I think this is about 300 as well so so definitely got the tractors now to do anything we need to do uh, I've also bought this uh, little silo cargo it's actually for liquid fertilizer and also herbicide so that's pretty cool what is really strange though that I've just noticed is there used to be two silos but now the second one's gone now I don't know what that's about but you can see I'm technically hitting it that's really weird uh, but I have only put liquid fertilizer in there, so maybe it's got something to do with that. As soon as I put, which doesn't really make sense, but if I put herbicide in, maybe this will reappear. But yeah, anyway, I've got some liquid fertilizer already in there, and then I've gone with this absolute beast. I've never used anything like this before. I've used the ones in game, but never a John Deere. Came with a few add ons, um, and this is the John Deere 4940 um, sprayer. So as you can tell, quite nice inside. Good detail again to it. So we'll be using this at some point, especially on the field that I bought, which I'll tell you in a second. So that's all the tractors and the gear on that side. So now let's jump back onto the quad and just have a little drive about on this side, where I've put a shed in just in front of me, um, which I've put a few things in, but it's just a, a parking area, just somewhere to put something under cover. I've got this silo that's full up with lime as well, which is going to help me out, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I've put two of my own GSI, like, proper bins in, um, and I've also bought some of the augers to go and uh, obviously put in the grain and take it out. Don't know if I'm going to be using both of these, it just depends on when we sell the sorghum, and then we're going to be growing soybeans in a second, we're going to start planting some of that down in the field that I've purchased over there, which is field one, which I was talking to you about in the last episode if I was going to buy a field field one was the one I was going for and it's a hefty size field it really is it kind of looks um, probably it doesn't look as big on the map than it does when you see it out in the field so 
definitely going to be a big job this is. But luckily, when I bought it, purchased it, it didn't need any plow. It didn't need anything. It was already cultivated. The only thing that's going on with it right now is it's got quite a few weeds in, but they'll disappear. So yeah, like I said, field one, already cultivated. Just need to plant in. I have jumped time to the perfect time to put soybeans in, as you can see. So soybeans are right in that point now where we can put them in and then we're obviously going to harvest them probably well, it looks like late on autumn early winter but it is completely different in this climate like you can see we're already the ground temperature is at 24 degrees which is crazy it really is so yeah that that's the the crack field one we're going to be planting some soybeans in that doesn't need any more work so all we need to do with this field one is get some soybeans in the ground not going to need any fertilizer because of precision farming um, and then it's just taking care of the weeds. Now, I did skip time. And luckily, I put the pH and the nitrogen was all sorted with field three. However, as I was focusing on doing this farm and setting it up and, uh, yeah, everything else, this sorghum was ready to harvest. Dead really quick. But the problem is it got some weeds in there. But it's only, a f you know, just a few. So it's not too much of an issue, but not ideal. So I put another shed here and I've parked the disc harrow just there and then I've got me uh, harvester nicely tucked away in that US style shed got another shed over here but I can't get rid of this tree I thought I could come in with the uh, lumberjack mod and just delete it out but it just won't kind of pick it up so if that's that's a giant editor kind of job but I think it's not going to be too much of a problem with that this again is just for anything we want to park away but most of this stuff I've put in is just because it looks good and why not I've also put an area down here to store any loose product if we wanted to store something in there. And uh, gone with this, pretty cool. I like this. I really do like this shed. Uh, again, storage. I've put the uh, windrower up here. Um, so again, more more detail. I've also bought a tiny little John Deere that won't get used. It's there just for show. But yeah, I'm happy with what I've done. I've focused on getting all the equipment we need to do a few good harvests. Um, before obviously we move over to the next game which is now getting close to a month away so it's not long at all and I'm getting really excited for it uh, there has been a delay in my videos I did mention that on my last video and that's just because of work um, it's been pretty hectic at the moment uh, but I am continuing on it's not like I'm taking a proper break or anything I'm just just difficult to find time that's all at the moment it's just become a bit tricky but I am still excited to play these games and uh, farming similar I don't think I'll ever get bored of I really won't. Right, so let's park up that there and let's start doing some bits and bobs then. So we've got quite a few options at the moment. The grass field is still not fully grown. You can just see the layer there where that's where it will be when it's 100%, but it's getting close. We're not going to put any sheep in here, but so we will be using this for anything when we want to do any grass work. I think the first thing we're going to do is get the planting done for the... Um, soybeans and then maybe move over to doing some harvest in the sorghum but before I do all that I'm going to show you this tractor because honestly this tractor is a proper good tractor it really is so inside lots of detail that you can add I think that's like a fan or something one of them foldable fans maybe a pen in there I don't know um, and then there's some there's a lot of extras that you can put in obviously make some detail it's obviously got some kind of pump down there and you can put the fire extinguisher in. Now, I will bring up the F1 menu just to see if there's anything different. I haven't had a proper play with this. Um, but honestly, it is a top, top mod. And when I start this engine up, you'll know what I mean. So it does a few bleeps. It's loading up the actual display screen, which is pretty cool. And if you were running sim dashboard, that screen would probably fit in just nice. But yeah, as you can tell, it's got some custom sounds. I love the sound of the tractor itself. It's proper modern. You can hear that it's a, a new tractor. But yeah, I just, I just really like it. The lights are pretty cool as well. Got the uh, nice lights at the top and even the beacons. You can tell that the uh, definitely some higher detail going on with this. So yeah, small things like that I really do appreciate when it comes to people making mods. I mean, I've said it a million times and I'll probably say it a million times more in the next game. Without these modders, this game would not be anywhere near as enjoyable as it is so anyway let's part that up we're not going to need this just now i'm probably going to jump in to let's have a look what we can jump into not that we've used that already i might actually use 
let's have a look at the equipment that we've got and we'll take a pick on horsepower I get mixed up between the two so it's these two I've got the 410 and then this 3530 8530 chip uh, so that's 385 and that's 458 so let's go with this one don't think we can go wrong with that so we need the 458 which is this one I'm sure it is yeah so this is the one we're going to use it's got enough horsepower for what we're going to do I'm sure it has now, now I'm questioning myself again let me just check that 35, 315, 315 horsepower, so yeah, we're sound. Now, I don't know how many seeds are left in this, because I was short. So I'm hoping we can crack on with this. Nope, we need some seeds. Now, I have got some down there, and I think they're just generic seeds, because the sorghum ones didn't have a custom pellet to it. So what I'll do is I'll just pull up out of here, and it's open anyway and we'll get some of these seeds in but what I will do is change this to soybeans and we're probably going to need to have, yeah we're probably going to have to take out um, some of this some more seeds out to the field but I will be setting this up as a course play and I might try and focus on something else to multitask in this uh, episode um, let me just top up the water I've been doing it but I know they'll probably need a little bit more the water, even though they've put the pump all the way up here, which took me ages to move, uh, it is actually all the way over there. It's proper far down there. In fact, shall we just jump in the quad and have a quick walk? I know I'm getting completely sidetracked, but... Hey-ho. Let's just get over to the field and I'll show you exactly where it is. I, I do like it. I've never seen actually anything like it. In another map, so it is quite unique, but it is it's basically just a watering hole. So you're filling water up into a hole, the cows must go over there and drink it from it. Perfect for a quad to get over there, and as you can see, it's just there. So I put the pipe there, but it means I don't have to keep travelling down here. I can just uh yeah, turn the tap and it'll fill up the watering hole. Really useful. And again, like I said, unique. And I've seen that in another map. Right, so now we can carry on. Let's pop that up there. I'm going to go this way just because it saved me turning around. I'm going to make sure I shut the gates. I've gotten a habit now of shutting gates. That's what I've been doing the past five weeks at my new job, it feels like. Every time I've been driving around, because my job now uh, comes with a truck, a nice truck, and also. Um, I go quite rural areas and uh, I'm going on to different lands. I always have to make sure I'm shutting these gates. So I do a lot of hopping about now. I'm just trying to think the entrance for field one. I imagine it's just off the road there, but I might be completely wrong. It could just be down there a bit. There we go. Does it say on the map? I don't think it does. I mean, there's that bit there. I think we might do that, actually. That makes more sense. And I'll uh, see if I'm right. No, we don't want to do that. What I want to do is that. I'll turn the beacons on. I'll try and swing this around without... Uh, tipping it because it can tip really easy this can I think this is the right way to get in to be honest I think I've uh, on the right route so we're going to take a wide berth on this I could have just showed you this as I was driving down here but hey ho I got to drive the quad a bit more Turn the beacons off. Don't need them on now. And then we'll get into this. Now, I am going to do this with a course plate because, as you can see, this is a massive field. Massive. So let's open her up. And um, while it's open up, we can set up the course plate. Field one. Um, we're going to try to think of to start. 
I'm going to do two headland passes. I'm going to start on the up and down rows. I'll up that to 10%, and I'm also going to tell it to turn on the corners just so it doesn't miss anything. Um, and uh, yeah, massive size, isn't it? 27.2 meters. I think that should be all right. It'll finish off with the headland passes. And as you can see, it's not too big of a job because of the size of the equipment we've got, but that is a big field. For something that's 27.2 metres, for it to do that many passes, I think it already states how big this field is. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to have to drive with this open, which isn't ideal, so I will close it because it's not the right way to do this. So we'll close it up again and then open it. And um, we'll get cracking. Now I did, I'm sure, the starting point is just over there, yeah it is. But there we go. Well, let's leave him cracking on and then we'll go and have a quick look at the uh, sorghum, just to see how it's getting on. I mean, I know it's ready to harvest, but I've never actually seen sorghum in game and what it looks like, so... There you go, that's the soil samples completed and analysed, which is for the whole field. So it should tell me the pH levels, uh, precision farming, all that stuff, which we do need to do. We're going to have to do lime in a second. But I thought if we get the soybeans in the ground, we don't need to worry about that. And then we can put some lime on top. Um, and fertiliser, like I said, don't need to worry about that. So it's pretty much just lime and herbicide. I'm flying in this. It feels like I'm on an ice rink. It's going to spin out at any moment. But it is a distance away, this field. Here we are. This is the sorghum. Haha. -ha. So, it's quite a small crop. It doesn't grow too tall. But it looks pretty cool. And you can see where the actual grain texture comes from. It's obviously from the top bit of it. Now, I know this is like a 2D texture on this map. Uh, probably the one in FS22 will look a little bit better than this, but still. I know they use it quite commonly in America, so sorghum it is. Right, so I think we've got quite a bit to do. So I'm going to head back, and I'm probably going to bring down the harvest, and we're going to get cracking with this. Um, don't know if I'm going to do it all in this episode. It is going to be difficult to jump between the two I might even set up two course plays and do a bit of a montage of both of them uh, planting in the soybeans and then also doing some harvest but by the time I probably get that harvester set up he might be nearly finished with the planting so I'll head back I'll uh, figure out my options and then I'll come back in when I've decided what I'm going to do Right, so I've decided to purchase this little trailer and a few uh, pallets of seeds and I'm going to just take them over to the field because I know this guy's probably got down quite a bit. Um, and if we bring in this, then we can definitely go and fill him up. And, and I think this is pretty nifty on this quad, so I'm happy with this. Um, what I have decided to do is make a proper episode in the next episode of Harvesting the sor Sorghum properly. Um, so what I'm going to do in this is just finish off the planting, obviously, of this field. Um, do a bit of a montage of it at some point as well. And then I might also bring down the lime spreader, which I need to buy. I have got an auger, which we'll use to fill up. Uh, but this episode has gone on quite a bit already. Probably around maybe less than 20 minutes. So I don't want to go too long. But yeah, like I said... The next episode will make it a proper one for the harvest of the sorghum. Um, and I'll probably as well do the lime spreading, now I think about it, in between this episode and the next. So then all I need to focus on pretty much is doing the sorghum and then maybe a bit of herbicide going forward. Because I do want to try and get a bit done and I'm just trying to think how many episodes I've got left on this map. So I do want to try and streamline things. Um, so yeah, what I'll do now is I'll do a bit of a montage of him all the way over there, cracking on with this. So enjoy the montage, and I'll cut back in when it's all done.
Right, so there we go. The field is finally finished. That took longer than I expected, I do have to say. So, time has progressed quite a bit. Um, I tried to get some good shots. I also had a bit of a nightmare with the filling up of the seeds. I took down the... Obviously, just down there, I don't know if you can make it out, but it's the um, quad with the little trailer. Uh, but the problem was, it wanted filling as if you were tipping into it. It wouldn't f refill from that, so I kind of tried to tip into it, but it, yeah, it wasn't perfect. Let's just put it like that, but it got there in the end. What I did was decide to just turn the feature on where it can buy the seeds as it's planted, with us having enough money now. Um, and that kind of worked the trick, so I'm just going to park this up field's completely done we just need to do some line I'll be doing that in between this episode and the next and then also some herbicide at some point but in the next episode we are definitely going to be doing this sorghum and we're going to harvest that up probably put it into one of the bins depending on when the best time to sell is if luckily it's a good time to sell we'll just go ahead and sell it but if it's not like I said we'll just store it in one of the grain bins uh, for when it is a good time so let's just swing this around doesn't need to be perfect but I'd say if we just park it up there that should be good enough and then what I'll do with this is we'll park this that's a bit weird there we go turn that back down you have to manually do that so I always forget because normally with the tractors you can do it you just jump in and it automatically does it but with this one you have to do it manually all right so I've got a jet wash just here so I think before we end the video I'm gonna have to wash this off because it's definitely been out in the field and had some good use. So on that note, I am going to leave the video there. So thanks for watching, really do appreciate that. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.